In this third video from webinar 3, we're going to look at upright hydrostatics. Upright hydrostatics computes the hydrostatic properties of the vessel at a range of drafts. The inputs are the trim of the vessel, a fixed trim, either a level trim or an inclined trim, and also a range of drafts. The calculations will compute the hydrostatic properties and display them in a table form as well as producing hydrostatic curves at the range of drafts. In the results window we can see the results, uh, select a particular column of results and display a graphical display of the vessel at that particular draft and also adjust which columns are visible in the graph uh, to make it easier to understand our data. Let's switch over to Hydromax and the first thing that we do is from the analysis drop down menu we choose the upright hydrostatics analysis mode. We then go to the analysis menu and this first part of the menu where we set analysis settings we can see that just trim and draft are highlighted. They are the two inputs for this particular analysis type. By choosing trim we can see that our trim is fixed at uh, zero meters so that's level trim and then if we choose draft we can choose the range of drafts so we can have an initial draft of one meter, a final draft of two meters and 11 draft spacings will give us a draft increment of 0.1 of a meter. If we wish we can also put in an initial estimate of LCG and VCG for some of the uh, hydrostatic properties. If we run the analysis we'll see the vessel sink down through those range of drafts and then if we bring the results windows forward we can see the results of the analysis. We have one column per draft so we can move across and uh, switch between the different columns and see each of the hydrostatic properties uh, in each of those columns. If we go to the graphical view we can see a display of how some of the hydrostatic properties change with different drafts. So here we can see the change of displacement with draft and we can see the change of LCF. Notice that we have an unusual step in our LCF graph here at around about a draft of 1.1 meters. So let's go back to our results window, choose the column that's a draft of 1.1 meters, and then we can use the select a view from data command to update our graphical view to match this column. And what we can see here is that uh, if we look at the level of the waterline, the step in the longitudinal center of flotation is caused by the fact that the chine just becomes immersed uh, at a draft just above 1.1 meters. We can use the data format command to control what's displayed in this graph. So if we want to uh, put some other properties in here, for example, we want to look at the uh, say wetted area or the longitudinal center of buoyancy, we can turn on those options and add them to our graph and see how they change with different drafts. That summarizes upright hydrostatics. Thank you for watching.